Chapter Five. Alarms sounded in the control room. Nolan watched over the chaos as techs and officers scrambled to try and contain the security breach. He turned and activated a communication link to the main laboratory. Doctor Arkville. Nolan shouted so to be heard over the noise of the others. For a few moments, there was no reply until. Yes. What is it? I am extremely busy. The three guests we have in the detention area have escaped. I suggest you secure your lab. Nolan had never been able to order the doctor to do anything, but he hoped this time he would listen to him. I suggest you release some of the test subjects. It will make an interesting test for them and will buy us some time. The image of Arkville abruptly turned to black. Nolan turned to the communications officer. Order all personnel to secure sections immediately. Ryuk, Taurus, and Willow moved quickly down the corridor. Ryuk looked very nervous. I don't like this. What's not to like? Taurus said dryly. He means where are the security forces? We have passed enough security cameras for a running commentary on our movements. Willow added. Indeed, ah, here we are. The group stopped in front of a large door. Ryuk examined the control panel. Son of a! Th- Damn it! This control panel is moulded into the wall. I can't override it. Willow sighed and swiped at the control panel a few times, her claws leaving a gash in the casing. This allowed for Ryuk to get inside and bypass the security module. The door slowly opened, revealing the contents of the vault. Ryuk found his equipment and began putting it on. Torres was doing the same. He removed a small communicator and pressed a the control, then quickly put it away. Unaware, Ryu had already seen him. I assume that's some kind of transponder. Torres spun around and aimed his weapon at Ryu. Now I have this. I guess I don't need either of you. The weapon's trigger clicked uselessly. Torres's face went from confident to terrified in seconds. Ryu stepped forward. Give our enemies some credit. You don't think they would leave a power pack in a weapon, do you? Besides, energy weapons don't work here. He pushed past Torres, followed by Willow, who gave him a growl. Torres reluctantly followed them out the door, but walked straight into Ryuk, who had stopped outside the vault door. He looked Torres straight in the eye. Points a weapon at me again, armed or not, and I will not be as forgiving. Torres gulped and nodded. Owen stared into the light, his thoughts becoming cloudy. All he could hear was a voice telling him to obey. At first, the voice was annoying, but now it felt comforting. He couldn't remember why he was here, but he's sure it wasn't that important. All that was important was that he obey. A memory suddenly forced its way into the forefront of his mind. No, this was wrong. He had to resist and get out of this place. People were counting on him. What they were doing here was against everything the Alliance stood for. Yeah, damn you! Why won't you be a good soldier and obey? Doctor Rockville cursed as Owen's resistance set back the procedure. He adjusted the settings on the conditioning machine when the door to his lab suddenly exploded. Torres ran in, aiming his weapon at Rockville. The weapon was no longer useless as he had attached his combat knife to the end. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Rockville protested. Ryuk stepped into the room, followed by Willow. Arkville straightened at the sight of the hybrid. My my, what do we have here? Tell you what, I'll give you this one if you take his place. I'd love to see what you are made of. Ryuk looked at Owen and then at Arkville. Another time, perhaps. Release the commander. I don't want to hurt you. Arkville smiled, then hovered his hand over a control on his data tablet. One more move, and I fry your friend's mind. Torres lowered his weapon and looked at Ryuk to do the same, but Ryuk sighed and extended his hand. The tablet flew out of Arkville's hand and landed by Ryuk's foot, that promptly stomped on the device. Arkville let out a nervous laugh and ran toward the door at the end of the lab. Ryuk made no attempt to stop him, instead turning his attention to Owen. Ryuk pulled the straps off as Torres pulled the power cable out of the conditioning machine. He joined Ryuk as Owen was coming round. I, 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 uh, Ryuk gently shook Owen by the shoulders. Commander Mendes, snap out of it, front and centre! Owen snapped out of his daze. Looking around, he suddenly recoiled as he saw Ryuk. Yeah, uh, oh, ah, my head. Thanks. How did you get out of the cell? 
Long story, said Ryuk. Right now we need to get out of here. Owen slid off the chair and took a moment to find his feet. No, we have to destroy this place. Torres moved closer. But sir, we have our orders. I'm changing them. This place cannot be allowed to remain operational. Torres stepped back and handed Owen his vest and rifle. Owen looked at Ryuk. I still don't know if you're my brother, but I need your help. And yours, Lady Willow. Willow frowned at the title Owen gave her, but said nothing. I have a plan, but it's risky, Ryuk said as the group walked toward the hole that was once a doorway. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't, replied Owen. Where are the intruders now? Nolan barked. We have lost contact with them. They are taking out security cameras as soon as they get spotted, a tech replied. Nolan rubbed his temples. He swore these idiots would be the death of him. Where was the last camera they took out? Before the tech could answer, there was a knocking at the control room door. Everyone froze except Nolan, who stood defiantly. Hello? Owen's voice came through the door. Stay there, Nolan replied. Security will be right with you. Suddenly, there was a crash behind him as Ryuk fell out of the ventilation conduit. Ow! Ryuk exclaimed. Nolan unholstered his gun and held it point-blank at Ryuk's head. Hmm. An old-fashioned projectile weapon. Ryuk observed, seemingly unfazed by the weapon's proximity to its eye. Nolan cocked the weapon. Surrender, monster! Ryuk laughed. <laughs> you dare to call me a monster with the creatures you have in storage? The weapon was pushed against Ryuk's skull. Oh, they're just the beginning. Ryuk smiled, and I'm just a distraction. Too late, Nolan turned to see Willow, who had silently exited the other end of the shaft, and was in mid-swing as he turned around. Her fist connected with him, and he slammed into the floor. Ryuk got up and walked to the door. As he walked across the control room, he looked at the techs who were bunched up in the corner. He stopped and lunged forward. Boo! He smiled as a series of indignant yells came from the group. Now stay, he ordered as he opened the door. Took you long enough, Torres said as he pushed past Ryuk. You're welcome. Torres moved to one of the consoles. Owen joined Willow by Nolan, who was beginning to wake up. Willow was tense and baring her teeth. I want to kill this man, she snarled. Don't. It would be better to let the Alliance Court deal with him, Owen said, but Willow turned on him. It was the Alliance that butchered thousands of my people. It was the Alliance who kidnapped me, murdered my mate, and subjected me to these barbaric experiments. Do you really think the concept of Alliance justice means anything to me, human? Owen had backed up against the console. Willow was inches from his throat, her teeth bared. Ryuk stepped in. Stand down, Willow. She looked at Ryuk, her anger almost instantly evaporating. She stepped back. Ryuk grabbed Nolan and dragged him to a console and slammed his head against it. Unlock this terminal, he ordered. Nolan scoffed. Why would I do that? Ryuk gave him a cold look and shifted his grip to around Nolan's neck, squeezing, causing him to choke. Because if you don't, I will do this to one of your men. Don't try and tell me they aren't of value to you. Ryuk squeezed harder and lifted Nolan off the floor. The others looked on in shock. It only took a few more seconds for Nolan to nod his head, or at least as much as he could under Ryuk's iron grip. Ryuk dropped him to the floor and allowed him a few moments to catch his breath before bringing him back to the console. Nolan climbed up to the console, still struggling to breathe. He punched in a command and turned to Ryuk, and aggressively hit a control. For a few seconds nothing happened. Then an alarm sounded. What did you do? Owen demanded. That's a security warning. Nolan smiled. Indeed, Commander Mendez. I've released all 100 of our completed hybrids. Have fun. Nolan reached under the console and pulled a lever. Ryuk's vision suddenly went white and was deafened by a high-pitched whine. He could just about make out Owen's yell of pain. Slowly, his vision cleared and the sound faded. Ryuk looked around to find Nolan and his command crew had vanished. Great. Now what? Owen said, rubbing his eyes. Ryuk moved to the command console. Seems this place is being evacuated. Don't suppose you have a ship? Torres gave Owen a nudge. Actually, we do. He pulled out a communicator. Strider, are you there? A few moments of static filled the air, then were followed by a voice. Indeed, Commander. We are arriving in system now. We will be with you shortly. 
We had to take in several small transports leaving the planet. Owen looked at Ryuka shrugged. Take them if you can, but get here quickly. We need immediate evac. We will be bringing two non-human guests with us. Owen clicked off the communicator. We better get to the landing pad, Torres said, heading to the door. As it opened, Torres came face to face with several snarling humans, shuffling their way toward the door. His eyes widened and was pulled back by Ryuk, who shut the door that closed just as one of the creatures reached it. What the hell are they? Torres asked, his heart pounding. They are what they used me for, Willow said, looking shameful. Well, they certainly didn't take any of your beauty, Ryuk said. Willow almost blushed. Well, we are trapped, and that door will not hold forever, Owen said, watching Ryuk, who was looking up at the ceiling. Remember that time we got trapped in the flooded park? He asked. Owen thought for a moment, then found the memory. Yes. Wait, you really are my brother. No one else was... Th oh, no, 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 no. Ryuk turned over a terminal and dragged it to the centre of the room. The pounding on the door getting louder. He climbed up and pushed against the ceiling tiles. He nodded to himself and pulled out a small pen light device, pressed it against the ceiling and pressed a button. What's he doing? Torres asked. If I'm right, he's undoing the tiles. Remember, that's how we got in. Torres looked confused. So what's the issue? We climb onto the roof, the dropship grabs us and we leave. Owen shook his head. It's how we get onto the dropship I don't like. Torres still looked confused. With all due respect, sir, could you just spit it out? Before Owen could answer, Ryuk interrupted. He's scared of heights. Torres's face lit up and he couldn't help but laugh. But you climbed the roof. Before Owen could reply, several roof tiles collapsed, narrowly missing Ryuk and Willow. Tada! Ryuk said proudly. Willow walked around the hole, then with one movement, jumped up and out. Ryuk was next. He tapped a control on his gauntlet, and a quick burst from his thrusters brought him next to Willow. She looked at him curiously. What's with the jets? Do you have wings? Ryuk moved closer to him and whispered. My wing growth is stunted. I can't take off with them, only glide. Willow nodded. Hey, a little help? Owen shouted. The door to the control room was starting to give way. Hurry, he said. Ryuk closed his eyes and stretched out with both hands. Whoa! Torres exclaimed as he and Owen were lifted up by unseen forces. Torres landed next to Willow. Owen was brought out of the hole but was suddenly dragged back by one of the hybrids. Torres dived after his commander. Willow grabbed Torres' vest. Ryu grabbed his blaster and shot at the creature, hitting it straight in the face. Together they dragged Owen to the roof. Thanks. I thought I was lunch for sure. Um, Ryu, your gun is smoking. Ryu looked at his gun which was indeed starting to glow. He looked around and threw it as far as he could. Suddenly, a clawed hand appeared, causing the group to jump. Torres looked down. For God's sake, were they crossed with a circus act? They're forming a pyramid! Owen grabbed him. Don't just stand there! Run! The group ran to the other end of the roof, but were met by another mob of hybrids climbing the walls. They turned back as the control room mob climbed onto the roof. Effectively surrounded, Owen turned to Ryuk. Get out of here! Ryuk stared at his brother. Not a chance! Besides, I couldn't escape the blast radius. Owen frowned. Blast radius. I planted some charges before I bumped into you, and my weapon is currently overloading next to the reactor building. The blast will set off the charges. Owen laughed. Well, at least we're going out with a bang. <laughs>